A historic day for the country as classes at the Bahamas Agricultural and Marine Science Institute officially started today. While classes aren't being held at Bamsey site just yet, Minister Responsible for the School V. Alfred Gray described the occasion as a red letter day for the Bahamas, while students were even more enthusiastic about the new opportunity. Janine Noel Ferguson traveled to Andros this morning for the first day of classes. These new Bamsey students have both had experience in agriculture but had no options to expand their interests. We did a distinction in, in that subject, but we didn't have anything in 2000 as we have now with Bamsey. This grow is tilapia. I, have, I grew it for three years, so I have a little experience on growing tilapia. With the start of the institute, both students can now achieve their academic goals. They are a part of the first group of 45 students embracing the new opportunities that the Bahamas Agriculture and Marine Science Institute will provide. It's not disgraceful now to be an agriculturist. It's not only about the doctors and lawyers. They need to eat too. We're growing what we eat and that is a, a big part of the learning process for them. Though classes did not begin at the Bamsey site, which is still under construction, Dr. Rovina Roberts Hanna, executive director of Bamsey, says no shortcuts will be taken for classes to continue. She also addressed concerns raised by UTAP, who called for a memorandum of understanding to be formalized between COB and Bamsey. It's just a matter of signing it, which will be done either today or this week. The relationship with COB in terms of the classes, the lecturers, as well as the vetting, of the classes. We need to destroy this box and thinking that learning has to be within four uh, physical, four corners, four physical structure. We have a greenhouse already up and running. We have a farm that's about to actually uh, produce fruit. So that's their farm. That, uh, that is their classroom space. Now, Agriculture and Marine Resources Minister V. Alfred Gray added that legislation must also be implemented to ensure the sustainability of the program. He, along with other officials, toured the temporary living conditions at two resort properties in North Andros, where students are being housed and fed. It will cost about $120,000 over the four months to house these students. That's a small price to pay for education. That site will not be opened until the roads to it and from it are as paved as what you see around us right now. But accommodations are not an issue for new students Sherry Fountain and Sean Adderley. They're both ready to take agriculture to a new frontier. Well, you would know if you go to Stapleton School for the men who retarded. Agriculture is a program in which they have in there and they're for persons with disability and I'm willing to be a part of this. I wanted to learn more about agriculture because I love planting like crops and livestock. I can't afford for a government change to mean the destruction of the school. We just can't afford to do that. Janana Well Ferguson, Zedness Network News.